Hey guys, today's video is going to be about some new products that Milani has just launched and there's two different product lines that they've launched and they sent them to me to share with you guys. I actually posted a picture of this on Instagram and you guys were like, show me what is this, you must do a video. And of course I always like to do videos whenever Milani releases anything because they tend to release things and it's a lot of things. And um, yeah, I'm gonna share with you swatches. The collections that they have released, um, one is the Bella Eyes collection, which is a range of eyeshadows, and they're all gel to powder formulations, which means they start off as a gel in the package. Here's a little sneak peek. They start off as a gel, you swipe them, they go to a powder, so they're easy to blend out and everything like that. So we're gonna swatch these. And then the next is a collection of new nail polishes which I don't have nails right now um, sculpting and things like that have damaged my nails so I haven't been able to wear nail polish but um, I have been wearing some of these on my toes so that counts for something but these are the color statement nail lacquers and they're fabulous they're probably pretty much the most pigmented polishes most pigmented polishes with that alliteration they're really pigmented and they're probably Milani's most pigmented polish. So let's get to swatching all of these things. And again, I probably won't swatch these because my poor nails are gone, but I'll show you the bottles anyway. Um, I am gonna be wearing some of these and I did film a tutorial on this look. So look out for it if it's not already up. I'll have it linked whenever it is up. Either way, check here and it might be there. Otherwise, let's get started with the swatches. These eyeshadows come in four different finishes and I'm gonna start off with the highlight shimmer finish and I have them swatched right here on my hand. The first is called Bella Chiffon, which is right here. Next is called Bella Rose, nice light pastel pink. And then we have Bella Diamond on the end here. You can see how nice and shimmery these are and they are very pigmented. The next finish is metallic, and these are three of the six. This one is called Bella Teal, as you can see right here on my hand. Bella Rouge in the middle, and then Bella Gold. And Bella Gold did apply a little bit patchy, although it does look beautiful in the swatch. Now we're gonna finish off that metallic category. We have Bella Copper, Bella Silver, and Bella Bronze. I've actually used this Bella Bronze in a tutorial. But you can see how beautiful these are, I mean, look at that copper. That copper is insane. That silver is gorgeous as well. And I really do love this dark, smoky, chocolate, metallic, bronze color as well. Next up, we have the shimmer category, or the shimmer finish of eyeshadows. And we have Bella Emerald, Bella Khaki, and Bella Sand. And here they are on the swatches on my hand. Uh, Bella Sand is a little bit less pigmented than the other two, but these greens are gorgeous, especially if you like those kind of darker tone, like olive tone type greens, and this beautiful hunter green. Uh, really gorgeous. Next up in the shimmer category, we have these three guys. This is Bella Sky, this is Bella Pink, and this is Bella Violet. Um, as you can see on the swatches, they look really pigmented and nice, but it took a couple swatches to get the Bella Sky to look this color. And the Bella Pink is kind of a little bit too frosty for my taste. And then the Bella Purple in the pan, it looks brilliant, but when I swatched it, it looks a little bit patchy. So I think these shimmer formulas are a little bit less than as far as quality goes compared to the other formulations and the other finishes of the eyeshadows. The next two are the last in the shimmer category, and we have Bella Champagne and Bella Charcoal. These are probably two of my favorites from the shimmer um, finishes. This one reminds me of my all-time favorite eyeshadow, which is Urban Decay Sin. Very comparable, kind of a peach, metallic, beautiful goodness. I highly recommend this, especially for $3.99. And then the charcoal, it would be great for like a smoky eye. So, really do like these two. The last finish in the Bella Eyes collection is a satin matte finish, which if I were to describe it would be a Velux Pearl finish. If you're, you know, familiar with MAC terms, it's kind of like a satiny metallic, like a pearlescent kind of finish. So the colors that we have are Bella Cobalt, which is this blue. Then we have Bella Fuchsia in the center here and then Bella Purple. And they are fairly nice colors. Um, the pink took a couple swipes to get on, as well as the purple. The purple's a little patchy. So take from that what you will. Next up, we have some nice neutrals, starting off with Bella Cappuccino, and then Bella Espresso, 
And finishing off with Bella Taupe, which is a color that you all need. It is amazing. I really, really like the taupe. Um, the cappuccino is okay. It would be a nice wash for a nice soft wash of brown. Uh, and the espresso is really nice as well. But the taupe is a must. I think a taupe eyeshadow, a really good taupe eyeshadow, is kind of a staple in your kit. Here we have some summery colors. And we have Bella White, Bella Ivory, and Bella Mandarin. This Mandarin color is to die for. I mean, gorgeous. Um, I really like the white as well. Fantastic. Um, it's kind of a pearly kind of white, but it's so super pigmented. It's one of the most pigmented pearly whites I've ever come across. And Ivory would be nice for like even highlighting your face or like your brow bone highlight. These are the final three and they're finishing off the satin matte category. We have Bella Gray, Bella Navy, and Bella Black. Um, this Navy, let's, let's just, let's, let's discuss how gorgeous that is. Um, the gray is okay. It was kind of a little patchy, but um, the navy, huh. And then the black is really nice. It's very pigmented. Um, it's kind of got like a charcoalish color to it since it is metallic. So it's not going to be super, super black, but it is nice. So that is all of the Bella Eyes eyeshadows. Now we're going to move on to nail polish, which is probably my favorite cosmetic item. These are the Color Statement Nail Lacquers, and there are a ton of these. So Milani likes to release a lot of things at once. Um, I didn't know how to kind of present these since I don't have fingernails at this point, and I don't have my nail wheels. So I'm just going to kind of break it down into color family and show you, you know, some of the colors. Um, but yeah, this is their red range. Um, really nice kind of red. It's from like brights all the way down to your vampy darks. There's a red glitter in there. There's a nice kind of like metallic red here and then a nice iconic, either one of these could be really iconic reds, either blue based or red or like an orange based um, color family. But yeah, these are their reds. Next we have the pink kind of families. Um, they have a lot of pink. I think they have more pink than red based stuff, but you know, they have some nice colors for like French manicures as well as some nice like beach hot pinky colors for the toenails. Uh, this color really reminds me of my mother. She loves mauve nail polish, but yeah, these are all the pinks. Now we'll delve into the realm of purple, and this is the purple selection from the color statement line. We have a nice lavender type color right here on the end, as well as a cool metallic purple. This one could also, you, you could argue that it's a red, but it kind of has some purple to it as well. And then we have a nice violet here as well. Um, I was kind of disappointed not to see a really nice royal purple because I'm always a sucker for royal purple polish, but you know, these are pretty. Here we have the green family and they're green with envy because there's not many of them. Um, three little guys, uh, we have a teal, which is a nice teal. I love teal polish. And I really, really, really love mint green. So this is a perfect addition to the collection, I think. And olive green, I'm kind of give or take about it. I don't know if I'd necessarily wear that color. These other two, oh yes, I shall be rocking those on my toes. Up next, we have the blue family. They have the blues. That's not really funny. Anyway, blue polish is my favorite. I probably have more blue polish than anything else because blue is my favorite color. Um, but let me tell you about this color right here. As soon as I saw it, um, opening the package, I like immediately had to go and put it on my toenails. I didn't even get to finish opening the package. I was like, this must be on my toes. And it's on my toes right now and I love it. It's very, very nice kind of periwinkle color, kind of unique. I don't have a polish that color. Also, these two colors are gorgeous, especially for like summer. Um, going on vacation, I can see this on a lot of people's toes. And this dark vampy navy is really, really nice. Um, these four are all cream. Uh, finishes. Then on the end we have a charcoal color. It's not really blue, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it and kind of metallic kind of finish polishes like this kind of remind me of like a dark navy metallic color. So I just put it in there for fun. But yeah, that's the blues from the color statement line. Last but not leastly, we have the indescribable polishes, undeterminable category polishes. Um, you know, the misfits. Uh, <laughs> we have the top coat, which I really like. I used it on my toes and it's really nice. And then we have some beautiful glitters. This looks kind of like a rose gold, so I'm all over that. And this one is actually probably my favorite of the glitters. Um, gorgeous. I think it's called Gilded Rocks. 
and then this one is called club lights so those two are pretty fantastic now we have these two um kind of micro glitters i would say they'd be really good on top of other colors you know jazz up some boring color and this color kind of looks like a pink but it's called bronze which is strange because it's not bronze to me but yeah it's really nice as well then we have this nice sheer color which would be great for like french manicures and things of that nature and then we have the white which you could use for the tips of the french manicure and like i said all these polishes are pretty nice they're very opaque they're pretty much the most pigmented polishes that milani makes Okay guys, that wraps up this Milani swatch vest. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, these products retail for $3.99 a piece, which in all honesty is not bad for an eyeshadow or a nail polish to be quite honest. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, any of those things. That's how you're gonna know I have videos up. Otherwise, again, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and have a great day. Bye.